Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Gemini. Guys, thank you so much for growing the channel. I appreciate it. Um, I thank you all so much for um, likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I really do. It does help. Um, it is encouraging, so thank you. Um, if you need to book a personal, the information is in the description box along with links to um, my other social media platforms for more content. All right, Gemini, your channel song for this week is Walk That Walk by Duro. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, um, you're committed to it and you strutting and it is what it is this is what i'm getting um i'm getting also gemini you mean what you say so whatever that is or however that is you it you gonna stand on it all right all right gemini Let's get some TT Music Oracle messages. I am I'm hearing my cousin say 10 toes down. <laughs> so whatever it is, you in it. Now I'm hearing um Charlie Wilson in it to win it. All right, there's one, two, three. And we'll take that. All right. Hold Me Now by the Thompson Twins. Whip a Pill by Babyface. In the Air um, by Phil Collins. Orange Moon by Erica Badu. And Next Lifetime by Erica Badu. All right. So. Um, Gemini, there is a lot of Pisces energy here with the, uh, at the very least, I know that, um, Erica Badu is a Pisces and she's got two cards coming out here. Um, give me one second. So you could very well be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, Gemini. Um... There, something's coming to a head, or someone is looking for um, for balance, for clarity. Um, the song "Orange Moon" um, speaks to, um, and now I'm hearing "Green Eyes" by Erica Badu. All right, whatever, whatever that is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's. Give me a second. Let's clear this because I want to get a very clear, very accurate message. And there's a lot coming in at one time. The song Orange Moon um, says that... Um, Oh my gosh, I, this is like my one of my favorite songs and I can't think of the lyrics right now, but the essence of it is the sun and the moon reflecting. Okay, um, I am an, I can, and I'm hearing, I know the lyrics to this song, but the song that I am hearing in my head is um, Green Eyes. And that song, Green Eyes, talks about... Um, she is it's like she goes through the stages of grief she goes from being jealous and upset and angry to uh this energy of reminiscing to um the energy of recognition and letting go so for some of you this could be that very you know that very thing of going through the stages of grief um be this with um uh, someone who has transitioned or and, and passed on or 
uh, with a relationship or a job or a friendship. Take it how it resonates, okay? Um, so, all right, we got the Palo Santo slip. We getting it together. All right. But something is, uh, something is having another go or it is, uh, being spoken to and released and allowing it to be. Take it as it resonates for you, Gemini. Let's keep going. Um. In the air tonight speaks of um, separation. All right. All right. Let's see what the message is this week for Gemini. That was very strange. All right. Okay, what is the animal message? The wild unknown animal message. Okay. Very much in your power, Gemini. Seeing things for what it is. Um, going with your gut, I'm hearing. Um, goodness. Taking, um, taking a leap of faith to um, be very mindful of um I'm here and keeping it classy whatever needs to be spoken or addressed or is coming to the surface um whatever this is that you have created this is about what you have created okay taking responsibility seeing something for what it is um arranging an opportunity or sparking a new thought to um, nurture something that is very delicate and very sensitive. Um, this, this is coming off to me as either a relationship or you are very much in the very early planning stages of um, um, I'm hearing relationship, but this could also be um, you starting a business and you getting the plans and the ideas, you recognizing a, a, a niche that you are uh, very much um, looking forward to feeling because you have this idea that um, that comes to you divinely. Okay, uh, some of you, this is um, you rearranging your entire existence because you are finding out that you are expecting. Okay, and uh, for some of you, this was uh, planned and wanted. For others of you, it is very much a surprise and you are um, needing some help and advice because you're, you know, you got the jitters. Relax, Gemini. You're going to be all right. Go find you somebody to talk to. I'm sure you have, um, there's going, you, when you, there is a need and, and when you ask, God will bring people into your life that will be very helpful. Okay. Breathe, relax, allow whatever feelings that are coming up to come up, write down what your concerns are, write them out, speak them out. First and foremost, go talk to God about it. That's first and foremost, okay? Let's see, what else am I seeing here for you, Gemini? This week is very much eye-opening, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of eyes here. Um, the 
you could possibly be uh, recognizing who your twin is. Some of you could be um, getting the news that you are expecting twins. Okay. And it is just like, what? It's, it's huh? Very shocking and surprising to you. Gemini either something happened during Pisces season or um, something is coming up in in February or March for you okay all right Gemini Oh, goodness. I am hearing, seeing things for what it T-I-T -T is. What it is and what it ain't. Yeah. Seeing something for what it is and seeing something for what it ain't. Um... So, okay, um, Gemini, I am hearing something is not going to be an easy win. Um, some of you um, are having this this thought that it's going to just come through. Um, you know, once you said your piece or stood your ground or what have you, um, something's something's going to be a bit of a miss. But you are being asked to have patience and courage in um, the fine tuning and details and understanding of something at this time, Gemini. Something you are, you or someone in your environment is not, is not picking up on. Or something that you hoped for is not going to come through the way you thought it was going to. Or the way you hoped that it was going to. But it does not mean that it's not coming through. I'm hearing um, earth, wind, and fire. Um, I believe it's earth, wind, and fire. Got to get you into my life. I'm hearing... <laughs> somebody keep bringing up oh shit oh goodness all right gemini let's get these messages so i can get y'all done and out of here y'all so y'all because y'all know y'all got stuff to do y'all got stuff to do i'm hearing our vanessa williams um work to do could be a new job a new experience okay Gemini. Gemini. Okay. When a Gemini got something to say, move it, it they say it. So if this is if this is not you, this is someone else um, coming in and saying some words, speaking some truth, um, some truth and action about some um, um, 
some some things that have been learned or brought to their attention okay um, working on some stuff uh, some of you are going back to school some of you are um, studying um, studying and understanding your connection with God working on that um, working on a connection a divine connection that either has to do with marriage or um, Hmm. I'm hearing someone of the cloth, but it's 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 more than that. Um Some of you are are doing some spiritual work in order to um, ground yourselves because something that you've worked very hard for and that you've prayed for um, has got you uh, I'm hearing um, the gap band you got me going in circles um, but you are you're you're releasing that mental stuff you were once clear about something and then you started getting into some new understandings and now it's it's got you where you you thought about it and you're like okay I've made my decision this is it's meant for me to move on and some of you are mentally moving on and leaving some things behind that um, needed to be released but it is, it's very much been either a worry for you or um, for somebody else. Take it how it applies for you, okay, Gemini? But there's, there's illumination, there's understanding, there's clarity, there's peace. Because you have, uh, you've given it to God is what I'm seeing as well. All right, we have three eights here. We have the eight of fire which is the eight of wands communication movement um telepathic communication for some of you um we have the eight of earth which is um the eight of pentacles working on things being diligent um honing your craft and then we have the eight of air which is the eight of swords which is um being mentally trapped within your mind and overthinking when in actuality you there's there's nothing to overthink you are creating this within your mind yourself you are creating this prison and then we also had um opponent's wild daughter which also speaks to that nine of swords um anxiety kind of thing and at this point we have the six of air which is releasing that walking away from it whatever it is is being completely um illuminated and understood okay and um be this a conversation it looks like it's going to be some conversation and some um thoughts expressed and um i'm seeing a lot of uh, fire a lot of um, Leo energy here so this could happen would be to be the happening between you and a Leo or you uh, or this is going to happen um, around Leo season which is um, the end of July and beginning of August so take that how it resonates for you Gemini I am going to leave it there Again, the signs you could possibly be dealing with at this time, very, very much Leo. This could also be another Gemini, um, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Or someone with these energies in their chart. Okay. Okay. 
I am going to leave it there. I send you love. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.